It's Saturday, October the 7th, and it's time for the seventh day of Halloween. Today we're talking about hay rides. Hay rides is one of those interesting sort of traditions that sort of accidentally happened. Initially, the hay ride was just an opportunity for the farm hands or the children who worked on the farm to catch a breather and get a ride while the hay was going back to the barn before they unloaded. The concept made it to literature and several children's books, which led to a very interesting demand when urban families started taking summer vacations as the railroads expanded. Following traditions like corn mazes and pumpkin patches, going right along with those hay rides or haunted hay rides that you see so often in the fall. And this entire tradition just ended up being a way for farmers to cash in on the interest that was piqued by these children's stories and the idealized version of farm life that they portray. By the 19th century, the demand for genuine hay rides was giving farmers an opportunity to line their pockets a little bit more before the winters. And by the Great Depression... Halloween staples like haunted houses or haunted hay rides were in high demand as a way of distracting the youth who, as mentioned in the Devil's Night video, were starting to participate in acts of vandalism and mischief in an attempt to act out. Most kids, at least in America, have a memory of visiting the pumpkin patch or riding on a hayride, and as you get older, it seems to be almost a rite of passage the first time you go on that haunted hayride, visit a haunted house, or some sort of attraction like that. Anyway, brightest blessings, y'all. Have a good one.